Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. A while ago, I did a video uh, on the uh, AMOC uh, ocean currents, the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. I discussed a paper um, where it talked about a 90% chance of the AMOC tipping over at some period between basically today, you know, 2024 or so, I think it was a 2025 actually in the paper and 2090. Um, and a uh, paper just came out uh, in the last month, uh, which tightens up that estimate. So their number is that there's a high likelihood of the AMOC uh, shutting down, giving us a new ocean circulation state in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, about 2050. The interval, the 10 to 90% um, interval, of, with, so the probability of that happening, you know, up to 90% is between the years 2037 and 2064. So this is a tightening up and it's based on reanalysis data. And I'm going to have a quick look at the paper. It's quite uh, statistically mined. So um, it's quite statistical. So I'm going to have a look at uh, just the basically the results in a short video. So First of all, I want to show you, um, just remind you, uh, this paper came out here about just over a year ago, July 25th, 2023, in Nature Communications, it's open source. I did a video on this, warning of a forthcoming collapse of the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. And basically the results of this paper that we could be tipping at any point between, you know, present day essentially and 2090 with a 90% probability. So they showed, they looked at the ocean currents and the temperatures in this particular region. Um, we know there's a global warming hole. There's an area there that hasn't warmed. Uh, it's about the only spot on the planet. And the reasoning is that the Gulf Stream as it comes across is coming down lower. It's not going up as high as it was, and that could be in, indicative of a um, impending collapse of the AMOC, a rerouting of, of the system. So, so there's lots of statistics in this data, lots of curves of tipping points and so on. Um, and I did a whole video on that. It said, you know, I think in the discussion, it'll probably say, well, it's, uh, they talk about, the, the tipping um, method hysteresis. Yeah, so I did a video on this. Um, here it goes. Uh, the estimate of the tipping time is 2050. The 95% confidence interval is between 2020, 2025 to 2019. So 95% confidence that within this time frame, the AMOC would shut down and basically tip into a new uh, configuration, okay? They did this using a statistical analysis, okay? So that's the result, which I showed in a previous video. Um, some of the terms in there, like bifurcation, you know, or splitting. Um, if you look at Wikipedia on bifurcation theory, you can get um, information on the math of these dynamics, dynamical systems. Bifurcation is basically splitting. You know, you can get two different paths. You can get like a tipping behavior. Um, so they go through some of the math and some of the information on it, um, the different types of bifurcations. And, uh, you know, the hop bifurcation is thought to apply uh, or the they talk about co-dimensions of a bifurcation. That's the number of parameters which must be varied for the splitting or tipping to occur. So it's co-dimension one, um, and it's also called a saddle node bifurcation. So think of a horse's saddle, you know, how you've got curves in this direction and then a curve the opposite direction where you're sitting. And in one of the directions, like from the front of the horse to the back of the horse, it's like a concave um, surface. And so it's a, a surface of stability. So you kind of park 
you know, when you're sitting on the horse in the saddle, you kind of sit in the middle and you're, you know, it's hard for you to go forward or backward. And then on the transverse axes from left to right or right to left, there's a, it's concave down. Okay, so, um, and then your legs are on either side. So it gives you stability, um, but that's the type of thing, the type of geometry um, mathematically that can describe this type of uh, splitting or tipping point in the ocean current. So the saddle, um, co-dimensional one, uh, you know, saddle bifurcation. Okay, so that term actually comes into this paper. So let's have a look at the paper and just the results. So this came out, I mean, it says 17th of June, 2024. It's recent work. Um, it's by a, some physicists in the Netherlands. Uh, probability estimates of a 21st century AMOC collapse. Okay, so they want to tighten up that number from the paper I previously showed you. So there's increasing concern that the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or the AMOC, could collapse this century with a disrupting societal impact on large parts of the world. Preliminary estimates of the probability of such an AMOC collapse have so far been based on conceptual models and statistical analysis of proxy data. The most important paper, I think, being the one that I did the video on previously. So here they look at observationally based estimates of such probabilities from reanalysis data. So they actually look at data. Um, they identify optimal observation regions of an AMOC collapse from a recent global climate model simulation. They look at salinity data near the southern border of the Atlantic. And that turns out to be optimal to provide estimates of the time of the AMOC collapse. So based on these reanalysis products, they determine the probability density functions or the PDFs of the AMOC collapse time. The results, the collapse time is estimated between 2037 to 2064 with a 10 to 90% uh, interval. So basically 90% chance between these dates that the AMOC tips with the central date being uh, about 2050 the probability of an AMOC collapse before the year 2050 is estimated to be 59%. Okay, 59% with plus or minus 17, that would put it between say 42 and 76% uh, chance. Okay, between before the year 2050. So, you know, that's only 26 years off. So, you know, when the AMOC does collapse, it will cause a profound shift in the climate system and then especially in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, and if you're in Western Europe, the UK, you re need to really, really pay attention to this sort of stuff. Okay, so this is, this is uh, the most recent uh, numbers on the probability of an AMOC collapse. So it builds on the paper from a year ago. Okay, the AMOC it transports relatively warm surface waters northward and cold deep waters southward, maintains Western Europe's mild climate. Look at the latitude of Western Europe. The reason why it's so mild is because of the ocean currents. It strongly modulates global climate patterns. The AMOC is becoming an ever more studied component of the climate system because it's one of the major tipping points which may undergo a transition under anthropogenic climate change. The AMOC can potentially collapse as a consequence of the surface freshwater input in the North Atlantic, okay? So the root cause of this collapse would be ice melt from the Greenland ice sheet or a change in surface freshwater fluxes up in the high Arctic. A collapse from its current strong northward overturning state to a much weaker or reverse state would have major climate impacts like a meridional shift in the tropical rain belt. Okay, it would basically cool the North Atlantic. So the tropical rain belts, uh, the, the ITCZ, intertropical convergence zone, would shift southward. So that rain would hit regions it doesn't presently hit and it would miss regions it presently hit. So leading to uh, 
both um, torrential rains in some places in the tropics and drought in other places in the tropics. It would cause dynamical sea level changes and a substantial cooling of northwestern Europe. Now, you know, there's evidence of past AMOC changes and you just have to look in the paleoclimate records. There were stronger and weaker states of these ocean currents, the AMOC, during the Dansgaard Osher events, the DO events. Um, so determining the probability of such a transition to happen before the year 2100 is an urgent problem in climate research. Okay, so they looked at different fingerprints. They looked at uh, early warning signals, including critical slowdowns, which are expected near a saddle node bifurcation. Okay, so the saddle node, I showed you the, the wiki page on bifurcations and particularly saddle nodes. Um, and also there's lag one autocorrelation, which tends to increase um, as we get close. So, um, and it talks about uh, the previous paper um, by these authors who estimate that the present day AMOC would collapse in the year 2057 with 2025 and 2095 is a 95% confidence value. Okay, so well now we can put uh, th this present work actually tightens up that estimate. And I'll just show you a couple of the things. So they did the modeling. They looked at um, 34 degrees south, the AMOC strength down here in the Southern hemisphere. They looked at the um, AMOC strength at the 26 degree north uh, transect and also at the 60 degree north transect and they modeled what the volume of transport and spur drips of the AMOC and the tipping. Um, and they looked at the temperature, the fresh water overturning at the different locations and how it can actually flip uh, during an actual transition. And they also showed that the, the strongest um, currents in the AMOC are actually uh, the maximum of the AMOC strength is actually found below 500 meters water depth. That's where the currents are the strongest. Um, and there's lots of other details in this paper, a bit of math, looking at the, um, looking at the statistics of the reanalyst data. And, and uh, I'm not gonna go into all of the detail. Um, tipping times, uh, when do they expect it to tip? Estimated tipping times, um, they looked at the different early warning signals at each of those three transects, um, one in the Southern Hemisphere, 34 South, and two in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, 26 North and 60 North. And, you know, they say that in the IPCC AR6 report, the probability of an AMOC collapse is considered to be low with medium confidence. This analysis provides the first probability estimate from reanalysis data. The other one was purely statistical, which I showed you and covered in a previous video. So the mean tipping time estimation is 2050 with a 10 to 90% um, interval, confidence interval uh, between 2037 and 2064. So it, it's tightened up and the world will change. Um, and they basically, um, also uh, came up with this figure um, again like there's there's more details and methods and and, and so on lots of uh, references and other additional plots and stuff but they say that the probability of an AMOC collapse before the year 2050 is estimated to be 59 percent with a variance between 42 percent which is 59 minus 17 and 76%, uh, which is 59 plus 17%. Okay, so th this, this, is this is a substantial um, uh, tightening of the schedule for an AMOC collapse. So I thought it was well worth uh, doing a quick video. Um, these papers, this paper is open source. So just have a look at it yourself, especially if you're um, if you have some mathematical background in statistics and, uh, you know, you'll find it very, very interesting. So thanks for listening. Please consider going to my website, paulbeckwith.net, uh, to support my, uh, research and videos and by donating to my PayPal account. Uh, thanks for listening and bye for now.